Here's another problem. So again, you have a water wave now this traveling in a straight line on a lake that is described by this wave function here. So determine the following amplitude, angular frequency, frequency, wave number, wavelength, wave speed, and direction of propagation. So it's very similar to what we did in the previous example. On the other hand, medyo may mga konting changes sa kailangan natin tingnan. So like for example, nasan ba yung direction of propagation nito? Bawa, hindi natin din discussin dun sa previous example. So pag-usapan natin in this example. I'll be giving you a minute to solve this problem, then I'll show you the solution after. Okay. So here, here's an example um, that I'll be showing to you. So again, the, the wave function has the form. has a form y of x and t is equal to 2.75 centimeters cosine of 0.410 regions per centimeter x plus 3.75 regions per second times t. Okay, so meron na, meron ka ng, meron ka ng y of x and t. So letter A, what is the amplitude? 2.75 centimeters. Obviously, the amplitude is just 2.75 centimeters. Yun yung first na term, di ba? Kasimple, simple. Letter B. What about the angular frequency? The angular frequency is what? To? Ayan, meron ka na taba. So, ito yung A. So, katabi ni X, di ba? So, ito si K, ito si X, ito si omega, ito si T. Therefore, what is the angular frequency omega there? 3.75. Yes, it's 3.75 regions per second. We're just familiarizing all those numbers there. Okay. Nakuha na natin yan. What about the frequency? <laughs> what about the frequency? The frequency F is just equal to what? Ano lang yan? Kagaya nung kanina? Or the previous example? Omega is related to F because they're both temporal quantities. Therefore, F is just omega over 2 pi, which is just 3.75 regions per second divided by 2 pi regions. It's just equal to, uh, ano nga ba to? Um, it's just equal to what? It's equal to um, um, 0.597. Hertz. So this is our frequency. Ayan, letter D. What about the wave number? The wave number is, looks like this. Again, spatial, spatial. No? So the wave number K is just 0.410 regions per meter. So this is the wave number. Nakuha na natin yan. Okay. So meron na tayong four quantities. Ang bilis lang, di ba? Letter E. Letter E, um, what about the wavelength? The wavelength can be calculated accordingly because wavelength is a, temp is a spatial quantity. You need another spatial quantity to obtain it. Since regions per meter yan, ito, dito, dito marami na rin eh. The wavelength lambda is just equal to 2 pi regions over K, which is just equal to 2 pi regions divided by 0.410 regions per meter, which is just, this implies that lambda is equal to, ano to? Lambda is equal to 15.3 centimeters. Ah, it's not meter, sorry. This should have been centimeters. Sorry, sorry. Centimeters to. Ayan. So let us do this in centimeters. So, um, this is 15.3 centimeters. So, so, yeah. so that's lambda. And then finally, for letter F, um, di pa pala final, <laughs> um, the wave speed, V is equal to omega over K, which is just equal to just 3.75 regions per second divided by 0.410 regions per centimeter. And the answer there is V equals 9.15 centimeters per second. Okay lang na centimeters yan kasi... Uh, hindi naman tinatanong na SI. So, okay na centimeters per second. So, letter, letter G. What about the direction of propagation? Anong direction yan?
What's the direction of propagation? Balik tayo dun kay wave function. Oh, ano yung direction ng propagation niya ngayon? Is it to the left or to the right? Kung napansin niyo rito, the sign of the angular frequency multiplied by time is positive. This is plus. Diba? Kx plus omega t siya ngayon. Therefore, is it, it is the direction to the left or to the right? The direction, the therefore, yes, the direction should be to the left. Since, since it follows the form y of x and t equals a cosine of kx plus omega t, this is now plus omega t, then the wave moves to the left. Okay? Questions? Nakuha to? Nakuha tong problem na to? Are there yes, any also. questions, guys? Okay, sige. Okay. Mukhang wala namang tanong.